the early hours of the 25th of August 1942, our submarine Pickett picked up an American convoy trying to sneak through our lines close to Renal Island. They were quickly met by dive bombers and a submarine ambush, leading to their quick demise. Welcome back guys, so uh, let's have another look at what we have going on here. So we are on the early morning of the 25th and we have just met and absolutely wrecked this American convoy trying to come through here. And one thing that really struck, uh, struck me here is that basically they came down pretty much way more south than I was expecting them to ever come true. So I'm going to take Taff in exile here and I'm going to move him back up, you know, slightly more in the middle of this uh, a slot between Renal Island and uh, Guadalcanal. And the thing that I think about doing is um, I will probably need to shift my picket here a little bit. So I'm not really expecting them to come true there all that much. So I'm just going to move this guy slightly more central you i'm going to put you slightly more central here as well you slightly more south and you slightly more south as well uh, this is in the hopes that their um patrols their aircraft patrols will be able to pick up convoys trying to sneak out further south because what i might need to do in the future here is actually bring in another sub and put it here just west of Renal Island just in case the AI tries to sneak through there oh there we go again um <clears throat> three ships very fast yeah this must be them trying to retreat they're making their way back um let's see if Guadalcanal is already capable of launching another four valves yes it is there you go um mm -mm, four of them one AP bomb four HE bombs Hmm, trying to go for this light cruiser. Just trying to consider if I should take HE or AP. You know, 250 kilograms of AP is, relatively speaking, is not that much. So, okay, it's going to be AP. There you go again. Launch. And I'm going to try to keep this Jake. Close to, well, no, let's try to take the zero. Okay, it's low on fuel, it's already returning. Then the Jake here. I'm going to have this Jake shadow them so that we don't lose him. Okay, let's see if we can catch him again. Okay, there they come. One of them, one of my valves is already smoking. Let's see if they make it through the wall of AA. Damn it. Okay, one of them just got shut down as the bombs are impacting. Well, let's shift our view here. You can see the bombs in midair. It's quite quite a sight, actually. <laughs> right, and pause. Nice hits, really nice hits. Okay, that cost us one aircraft at, at least. Looks like the rest of them are going to make it out. No, I don't think these 250 kilogram bombs would be enough to sink a light cruiser unless they get like a really, really lucky hit. I didn't see any magazine explosions or anything like that, but at the very least, it's going to put this light cruiser out of action for a bit. And they need to send it out to be repaired. Well, it is on fire. There is an internal fire. Let's have a little look at the report here. Let's have a little sneak. Yeah, heavy damage, minor flooding. Very good. Very good. Okay, so this light cruiser is out of action for a while at least. Unfortunately, it has cost us one of our valves. Well, the Zeros have returned from the rec recon mission and we're actually going to send them out to go, you know, try to cause some damage to these destroyers down here. And there we have them. Okay, guys, target the lead one. Hose it down. Try to get out alive. And there they come. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Ooh, 
explosion. Well, I don't know what they hit, but this one just lit up almost straight away. Must have been some ammo on deck or something. Maybe they hit one of the torpedoes in their pants. But this one is burning. Sadly, it's only minor damage with no flooding. I think this is not worth it for me to actually lose my zeros over because I need them for recon. The value that they can offer me as reconnaissance airplanes is much higher than what they can offer to me just strafing and dying. This one destroyer. Uh, you know, after some time has passed, uh, the destroyer is still on fire. It's now moderate damage and it looks like they are starting to head south again. So, yeah, maybe we turn them around. Good job, RTB, and then you can go scouting again. Got those holes patched first. In the meantime, our um, supply task force here has made it to Rabal. I'm actually going to um, actually let one of you guys go. Nah, it's just going to take some time. Um, let's manage your cargo. And there's fuel. There's no more engineering. Just troops and supplies. Well, you know, let's go. Troops and supplies is the way it is. And back to Guadalcanal. 1238 and our three valves have managed to catch up with him. Let's see if we can inflict some damage. There we go. I'm approaching from the front to uh, minimize my exposure to their AA in the attack run. Order them to attack the lead element individually. Ooh, don't collide. There they come. another foul not to worry about this they respawn anyway and it looks like we got at least a couple of hits let's have a look at the damage report okay we have heavy damage heavy flooding i think we can sit this one out a little bit maybe we can watch this one go down watch it sink i don't know if it's still evasive maneuvering or if it's a uh, rudder is stuck or something like this but it seems to me like it's too late now oh yeah i wonder what kind of um what model this is. Let's have a look here. American Destroyer. Yeah, this looks like it could be it. It could be Mahan. Yeah, potentially Mahan. Definitely. Yeah, you got the sloop here. Under the conning tower. Yeah, that's Mahan. Okay, heavy damage. Minor flooding. Seems like they got the flooding under control. So yeah, we are going to leave. You guys, RTB. And there go our zeros, another recce run. Oh, hold on. What's it? What is this? Uh huh. Very fast group. Maybe eight ships. Eight ships. Let's go have a look. Meanwhile, okay, Taff. I'm going to have you. You know, go up north more slightly so you're in a better better intercept position if you need to be. What's this? I-35? Yeah, it's going back to rearm. Okay, zero. Go have a look. Yes, there they go. Wow. This is a quite quite a sizable group. I think this is the one we spotted earlier, and it is Yeah, a couple of heavy cruisers, a couple of light cruisers. I'm not sure if they're just patrolling or if they're trying to sneak their way into Guadalcanal to um, to actually take it down a notch. This is a very, very dangerous opponent. So I'm not sure if I want to try to intercept this, but I probably should. Yeah, let's get out of the way before I come in range of their guns. Well, they're steaming north-west-ish. West-northwest. So yeah. Let's bring Taff into position. So Taff, I'm going to ask you to go, you know, straight west. We'll try to keep eyes on this fleet. 
which is going to be difficult in darkness. Hmm. There's no way that we'll intercept those guys with my subs before it gets dark. So... Yeah, you keep shadowing. Maybe I'm, go I'm gonna bring up more north. So maybe we pick them up in the morning, but... If they make a determined run, they are quite fast. They could, they could reach it in the night and bombard it in the night. Not so good. Okay, wolf pack. Yeah, I suspect that if they do come, they will come from the west side of the island. So I'm going to put... Wolf pack into an ambush position right there. Here, these are just the remnants running away. Hold on a sec. Seems like uh, the destroyers are going back north. Anyway, they're not too much of a threat to me. Alright, with a little over 15 minutes left to go. Guadalcanal can launch one more time. We have one zero back here. Very good. Done. You go. You go down south here. And then hopefully you can chase this fleet for as long as possible. So far, they don't seem to be going north. They just seem to be going roughly west-northwest-ish. Maybe they are just patrolling this part of the ocean. Maybe this is what's left from this carrier group that we attacked a couple of episodes ago. Which is uh, starting to seem very plausible. Um, which would also mean that there is no need for us to redeploy Wolfpack. So I'm just going to keep Wolfpack on the station right there. And uh, actually, Taff, I'm going to keep you on station right there. Yep, and this is exactly what I wanted to see. So now you can see that this fleet is actually going, is going back the way it came. Yeah, let's just give me, uh, let's me, oh, English, let me give you some time compression so you can see. So yeah, this um, this fleet is just going here, back and forth, back and forth, as I suspected, patrolling. These must be the remnants of this carrier group from earlier. At the moment, I'm not going to do anything with them. Why? Because there are a whole lot of assets that are deployed and they're not really a threat to me. The only thing that can happen here is that I can lose some of my assets as long as they're not coming closer, I'm just going to save my ammo, save my forces, and then see see what they do. Maybe they just stay down there. Maybe this is their patrolling area. Maybe I can keep them there until I get something more potent, like an aircraft carrier. 4.33 a.m. just before um, dawn, and we have 2,000 supplies and 100 engineering showing up. Thank you very much. Unload all cargo. Go back to Rabal. Mm hmm there we go again. Okay, we're now at the early morning of the 26th of August, the 18th day of our campaign. And uh, we have sent out our fans, our... Um, aha! So we have two sightings here. One is the suspected heavily armed group. They're still in their patrol area, still behaving exactly as expected. Then up there we have those destroyers. Yeah, it must be them. And actually, you know what I'll do? I'll just send out my dive bombers once again. Try to get them. Four valves, there you go. Going to go HE, all HE bombs. Hopefully start some fires on them. And you guys will... Try to catch those. Alright. And then I noticed that here... Task Force 22 is almost at Rabal. This is my oiler and um, the transport, and we'll fill them up soon. Right, you take the remaining fuel, 100 of it, and then you just take supplies. There you go. And I'm wondering, should I give them a destroyer or not? Why the hell not? We have 10 points here. Okay, let's do that. Okay, one Akizuki class destroyer. And also yeah, managed cargo. 
You're gonna take some supplies as well. And there you go. Good. Okay, you will sp uh, not split groups, but merge groups. And there you go. And you're going to swap positions with the Euler. You're going to be the lead element. And on your way to Guadalcanal, you go. Guadalcanal. <laughs> Guadalcanal. Guadalcanal. <laughs> How did I come up with that? It's very strange. I forget to English every once in a while. There we go. Vals are in position. Go to tactical. So approaching them slightly from behind, but still from their broadside, that seems to be the most effective in this game. Let's see how that goes. Hmm. Okay, so that was bracketed. Some massive explosions. Okay, guys, we're gonna have you. We're gonna have you exfil in a little bit more. <laughs> A little bit more of an efficient manner. Yep. Okay, create distance between yourselves and the ships as fast as possible. Let's have a look here. Oh boy, he's on fire. He is seriously on fire. That is a quite a significant fire here. Seems to be a little bit low in the water, maybe it's just the heavy seas. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very successful attack. We didn't lose any planes. Heavy damage, minor flooding. Good enough. Well, they have just been picked up by one of my zeros. And they seem to be heading back to their base. They have been turned around. Perfect. In the meanwhile, I'm in full anticipation of this one here. Because this is my, um, my fuel and my engineering. This is going to allow me to upgrade Quetelcanal. Hopefully they will not get intercepted before they make it to the base. Yeah, unfortunately they have most certainly been spotted by these spotter planes from this task group here, so any sub in the area will know that they are there. But they are now, if I'm not mistaken, within range. Let's see, unload all cargo. There you go, successfully unloaded. Perfect, you guys go home. And then we'll have a look at what we can do upgrade-wise. Beautiful. We now have 250 engineering, 250 fuel. Click. Boom. Guadalcanal has been upgraded to the next rank of airfield. Let's look at new air. Well, it's still, still the same. That is a little bit disappointing. No extra planes? Come on. Yeah, let's look at the game rules here. So, okay. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Airfield bonuses. So at level 3. So the detection range has been extended quite a bit. We should now, like, the next day have 8 zeros and only 4 vals. Okay, next level is going to be 8 zeros, 8 vals. And then in the final rank we get 8 betties. Wow. It's not that great. I mean, 8 zeros is a lot of recce. <laughs> but if we can't strap any bombs under them, that's pretty useless. But anyway, I'll take it. Guadalcanal is now level 3. The aim of the game of, is of course to get it to level 5. We are now 19 days into the campaign and we are well on our way of getting it done. So I think this is a good uh, time to cut here on this episode. No major actions, but you know, loads of skirmishing, loads of wreckying, just staying on top of the situation, keeping my spy lines going. So I think I'm doing quite well. I have all of the avenues of approach covered with eyes. I have two interception forces that I can count on. I seem to be in control of the situation and my supply lines appear to be safe for now. Good. Well, guys, remember to give this a like and a comment and then I'll see you on the next episode.